Welcome back my friends. I tried this with a tripod but uh, I wasn't getting much success so you'll have to excuse the uh, slight shakes. But this is the uh, grow room. It's got a little bit of heat in it, a bit of light. These are the uh, giant parsnips. Everything's getting a little bit leggy now. Uh, moving on to the space chilies from uh, Pete's uh, back garden. I've got four of those out of all those that I tried to uh, sow. These are Pete's um, Kelsey onions. And we do have one or two good ones in there. So the better ones are select. Now I'm not sure whether it's my homemade compost or the potting compost, I can't really tell now. Might be able to tell when I actually uh, pop them on. We move on to the chilies. These are the heavy ones. There's two there, the heavies. And a little bit further back, we've got the longs. We've got some carrots there that look a bit better because they haven't been under the light. And then just some more of Pete's back gardens, onions there. So where are Dan's? There we go. So Dan from Dan's allotment. I've got four there that have survived. As you see, the one at the back is reaching for the light been very good with labels this time so they're not too bad they're coming along nicely I've put a water um, a membrane in the bottom to help hold the uh, moisture and we're watering from the bottom I've got another light so these here are the carrots but as you can see they've got quite leggy because they're under the light so I don't know if it's really helped being under a light instead of just having a bit of light every three days. These are further on, it'll be interesting to see. And then these um, are the Swedes. Now they are leggy and I think they're getting too close to the light. So this here, oh, not know really you can see, but it's, uh, I'll get it out. So I've got a piece of cord there off a, a lamp, a table lamp with a switch on. Don't actually need the switch, but it isn't useful just to be able to switch it uh, on and off when I need it. That's recycled. Just a little fitting off the top of a lamp in there. And then we've got three foil trays like this fastened together. So the top one's got a hole cut in for the lamp and then I've crisscrossed it like a similar to a house roof, push those through and then sat it on top of there and then again so we've got three of those and we've used good old gaffer tape, gorilla tape to keep the light and that's done quite well in helping me with view of the bits and then we've got that lamp there so some of these have got to be potted on so I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing there and I'll need to get select the Swedes there are the Swedes yeah and some of the carrots they're far too big now the trouble is this grow room isn't very big so I've decided to turn the greenhouse where we had the uh, tomato plant food experiment and my log store. As you can see, a few logs in there, a few that are already. But this this was th this time last year. This was full. So as you can see, not with not not being on call, I've not been getting much. And I'll continue then to stack the logs under that one. That is the garage door, but I don't go in and out there no more, so it won't really hurt. So the plans are to 
insulate this. Now in here we've got a piece of ply. Now that will go on the compost runoff bin. So I can recycle that there and then I'm going to insulate it with the, um, the foam board similar to what I made the tops and bottom of the grow room if I can get hold of some for the right price e.g. a skip. So I'll probably have the insulation up to there then covers on the top so I can put plants on the top and then have lights underneath I'll get rid of these logs, these aren't due to be used yet but I will move them they say it logs everywhere but I can utilise this as my greenhouse bit this is an extension to a 6x4 greenhouse or no 8 be six green airs. So by the time I've opened all this up it'll be uh, a brilliant space for what I want to do. Right, let's get one of these potted on. So I've got one of each that uh, I'm going to be potting on. So there's the Swedes. I'm going to be selecting that one for the main one. That's uh, that's the best one out the uh, the lot. I say I was quite late. Now the actual seed, the black seed, always leave that on. Don't know why. That's why we watch YouTube. There's me parsnip and then uh, the carrot. Obviously they're not going to like it out here because it's uh, about 7 degrees outside now instead of uh, about, uh, about 15 or 16 in there but in the grow room but it has been uh, quite uh, <coughs> quite cold. I bought built the compass back a couple of days so it should be uh, warm enough now. I always like to use a pot that's exactly the same. This is the potato compost. I haven't added anything to it. Now to grow giant vegetables you should be using mycorrhizal fungi and everything else but my compost should contain that. So this year is going to be a complete uh, complete experiment. There's a root hanging out the bottom. There's a few there, but it's very, very delicate. This compost has to be light for the roots to get going. But minimal root damage because we're using the, the pot. I'll get these done and I'll bring you back. So that's uh, one of each done. I've uh, use the labels, these are milk bottles, the one uh, pint, two pint middle milk bottles. I found them quite useful, it does seem to uh, stay on the labels quite a while. Um, you can remember quite a few weeks back I said I was not going to sow seeds mainly because we were going to get some cold weather. Well we got the beast from the east uh, with Storm Emma. Uh, we've just had another long range forecast and it looks like the beast from the east may be coming to pay us a visit towards and around Easter. He may miss us, but uh, yeah, hopefully it won't get us. Surely the Met Office can't get it right twice, but you never know. Take care, my friends. Happy gardening to you all. I hope you haven't got too much background noise as I'm moving about, it makes a bit of a row. But that's the start of the potting on of the hashtag giant veg. Thank you my friends, till next time, to for now.